Today, I'm going to introduce the device management capability of the Agile Open Container, or AOC, from four aspects. The first aspect is activating a specific any driver or SND package. The AOC manages devices of different vendors based on SND packages, which contain the device's model and protocol configurations. The second aspect is registering devices with the AOC and matching them against SND packages to manage the devices. The third aspect is configuring devices. As the brain of the entire network, the AOC needs to have a copy of mirroring data of devices. We can synchronize device configurations to the AOC through the synchronization function of devices and then deliver configurations to the devices based on the device's atomic capability. The final aspect I'll introduce is delivering configurations to devices in batches. On the live network, we often need to deliver configurations to many devices. To quickly deliver configurations to devices in batches, we can use the AOC's template capability. Now let's look at them in detail. First, I will show you how to import and activate an SND package. As we mentioned earlier, the AOC manages devices of different vendors based on SND packages, which contain the device's model and protocol configurations. To import and activate an SND package in the AOC, we access the software package management page and import the SND package to the system. The SND package is in the inactive state by default. We need to activate the package to make it available. So now we click the Activate button in the Operation column. After the activation is complete, we can use the SND package. Next, let's shift our focus to device management. After the SND package is activated, we can add devices to the AOC for management. On the device management page, two methods are available. We can create one by one or import in batches. Whichever method we use, we need to enter the name, IP address, vendor, and protocol parameters of the device. Of these, the triplet information corresponds to the triplet in the SND package of a device and is used to match the device. Now, let's take a look at the procedure in detail. First, we go to the device management page. Then we fill in the device information and protocol parameters. Here, the triplet includes the software version, any type, and vendor, which correspond to the triplet in the device's SND package. Finally, we just need to click OK. And now the device is managed by the AOC. Next, we move on to the third part, device configuration. As the brain of the network, the AOC needs to have a copy of mirroring data of devices. For this, we need to perform synchronization before configuring devices. On the device configuration page, click Synchronize to synchronize the device configuration. After synchronization is complete, we can deliver configurations to the device. Click Edit in the Operation column. On the configuration page displayed, we can start to configure the device. The configuration on the configuration page is automatically generated based on the Yang model in the SND package. This is one of the benefits of the model-based driver. To modify the configurations, we just need to find the model corresponding to the configuration to be delivered and edit the model. Here, I'll use a sub-interface configuration as an example. Find the IFM module in the navigation tree, click Add, and enter the configuration to be delivered. Then click Dry Run and Commit Configuration to deliver the configuration to the device. Now let's move on to the last part, Batch Device Configuration. Just now we talked about how to deliver configurations to a single device. On the live network, we may need to deliver the same configurations to multiple devices. 
To simplify the configuration process, we can deliver device configurations in batches. Two methods are available for batch configuration. Let's start with the first one. Assume that devices have been managed by the AOC and are running properly. We configure devices through the CLI and use the synchronization function to synchronize the configuration to the AOC. A record is generated in the commit history, which is displayed based on the Yang model. Then we extract parameter settings from the record and create a template which contains the configuration model to be delivered. Like this, we can fill in parameter values based on the application scenario and deliver the configuration as required. So that was the first method. Now let's look at the second. This method involves exporting a template using the export function on the configuration page. This method is used when the model to be used is known or when no device is available but the model is known. The configuration page displays all the capabilities and modules supported by devices. After accessing the configuration page, we can enter keywords to search for the corresponding module. We then find the module to be exported and click export to export a Yang model based structure. The next steps are the same as in the first method. We then extract the parameter settings into a template. The advantage of this method is that it works in scenarios where devices are offline or the network is disconnected. Let's now take a look at batch configuration. After the template content is obtained, we can start to create a template. Choose system setting, template management, and then any template. Similar to device management, two methods are provided. One is to import a template file, and the other is to directly create a template. Both methods have the same results. Here, we describe how to create a template. Click Create and enter the template name and the ID of the SND package used to manage devices. Copy the content of the created template and click OK. Just like that, a template is created. Then we can use the template to deliver configurations to devices. For this, the AOC is also offers two methods. In fact, the AOC provides more than one method in many application scenarios. You can select the best method based on your actual scenario. The first method is to select the configuration to be delivered and to which device is on the device management page. Here we can select multiple devices. On the template selection page displayed, select the template to be applied and click Next. Then set parameters based on the site requirements. After the parameters are set, deliver the configuration to devices according to the steps in the wizard. After these operations, the configuration is delivered to the selected devices. The second method is to add devices to a device group and then apply a template to the device group. To create a device group, go to the device group management page, click create, enter the device group name and click OK. Then click add and add devices to the device group. Configuration delivery in this method varies slightly from the first method. In the second method, we apply a template to the device group which then takes effect on all the devices in the device group.